We look into the many environmental toxins that permeate our bodies and what we can do about them. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, I'm Sarah Backhouse. Today we explore environmental toxicity, the many chemicals that reside in our bodies. What are they, what are their effects on our health, and what can we do about them? The Environmental Working Group specialises in research and advocacy in the area of toxic chemicals. We spoke with President Ken Cook and asked him why it's important to be aware of environmental toxins. There are a couple of reasons why people need to be much more aware about toxic chemicals in the environment. First, because they are everywhere and from studies that have been conducted by the Centers for Disease Control and the Environmental Working Group, my organization, we know that hundreds and hundreds of these chemicals are in people. Secondly, there are many, many diseases and health problems that are linked sometimes by direct human evidence, sometimes by laboratory studies, to toxic chemical exposure. This can run from birth defects to cancer problems to a wide range, uh, neurological problems, and we know that many of these problems are on the rise. There are many steps we can take to reduce the body burden of toxic chemicals. Eat organic, cut back on mercury-laden fish, and avoid phthalates, like those found in the seemingly innocuous rubber ducky. Personal care is another industry rife with chemicals. This salon held by natural skincare pioneer Tata Harper helps to educate people on the chemicals lurking within the pretty bottles. We're gonna hear today the latest findings and information about this very topic, which in my, as far as I'm concerned, is a big topic of our generation. While consumers can demand action, governments must also regulate. It's also true that there are some things that are so ubiquitous in the environment that there's no way individuals can take much action to reduce their exposure. And in those cases, we need the government to act. Chemicals that are persistent and bioaccumulate, they build up in our bodies. While environmental toxins can't be avoided altogether, education, smart consumer choices and lobbying the government to do more can minimise their effects. That's it for today. See you next time on Planet 100.